on paper, Bayern Munich are doing the correct thing, right? Even when they're flirting with Haaland, they're saying, okay, this guy's 33, will be 34 by the end of the contract. There is no chance that we're going to renew him if we can get Haaland sure. to walk through this door. So we're preparing for the future. It is what a club should do. Now, that's on paper, in a vacuum. But there are emotions involved in this. There are human beings involved in this. And it plays a role. It plays a major part in all of this because, uh, Stevie just mentioned it and you just alluded to it, if his feelings are hurt, Robert Lewandowski, who at one point, if not for Karim Benzema, would be the best out and out striker in the world, in the world, and you're having to go around to get somebody else and you're not paying attention to me, I'm your star. I'm scoring goals for you right now. Right now, I'm scoring goals for you. You don't know what this guy is going to do for you. Right now, I'm your guy, and yet you're unable to love me. That emotional, uh, I think, adjustment and that emotional component that comes into a conversation like this is what I think pulls this apart because it's become personal. And once it becomes personal, there's no coming back around. Uh, let's go to the most humble member of this panel. Frank, how do you see it? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Glad to start with me like that. Uh, well, you know, um, if we, if I follow uh, Alejandro's path, and if emotionally uh, it's uh, it, it can be tricky, uh, you have to realize that if you keep Lewandowski against his will, you will have also an emotional problem. So he won't give maybe what you are expecting him to give for his last year. And there is another thing. In the other hand, Lewandowski is playing a, difficult, a dangerous game. Because as just mentioned, Barcelona has got, has, hasn't got the money to, uh, to, make, uh, to make him uh, uh, sign for, for them. So why, where are the other options? Jules talked about Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, well, they still have Neymar, uh, Messi and Mbappe. Where Chelsea, it's not really the politic of the club to bring older player or players over 30. So it's going to be tricky to know what's going to happen. But I always thought that at the end of the day, if a player doesn't want to stay, you can't keep him. So at a certain point, Bayern Munich will have to give up. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.